about that. Yeah. I'd like to urge our learners as we celebrate today to spare 30 minutes on the 1st July, 1st July 2022, to read, to drop everything and read for 30 minutes what they want to read and share what they have read. Through the Dear Day, our pupils learn basic skills in reading and numeracy and generally addresses our poor reading culture. Uh, as you heard on Friday, July 1st, at 11 o'clock in the morning, people across Uganda will drop everything and read wherever they are, be it in workplaces, in classrooms, in libraries, at home, and even at the U.S. Embassy here in Kampala. They will read from books, newspapers, and journals in a fun-filled exercise that will unite people from all walks of life. And this is just such an amazing and wonderful initiative. Drop Everything and Read Day, or Dear Day for short, is a celebration of community. It's a celebration of reading. It's a celebration of our thirst for knowledge and learning. And it's a celebration of the power of the written word to transport us to other worlds without ever mm. leaving our homes, to help us forge connections with people we have never met, and to open our eyes to the wonders of the world around us. Call upon all city dwellers to drop everything and read. This year's theme is Imagine Reading as a Way of Life, and it resonates, it resonates with the need to improve the quality of life the need for knowledge and information so that we can collectively improve ourselves. For all of these reasons and more, the United States Mission in Uganda is happy to join Ugandans around the country to celebrate the eighth year of Dear Day under the theme of Imagine Reading as a Way of Life. Since Uganda's independence nearly 60 years ago, the United States and the American people have invested in strengthening Uganda's education system and improving education outcomes for Ugandan youth. Why do we do this? Because the United States strongly believes that Uganda's greatest resource is its people, and by investing in them, especially the children and the youth, we are helping to promote a healthier and more prosperous future.